So now we're going to look at uh, reacting when our partner's turning underneath us. So whether we're mounting someone who doesn't have much experience, and they think turning onto their belly is a, like a good idea to try to get up to an easy escape, yeah. or whether they know jiu-jitsu and they're trying to turn towards one of my legs to push it back in between and uh, start escaping like that. Okay? Either way, we're going to react in the same way. I don't want to allow my... Uh, leg to get snagged up, and I don't allow my partner to uh, base up on both their knees. So as my partner turns, on the side that they're turning to, I'm going to step my foot up on that side. Okay? And at the same time, I'm going to pull my heel into my partner's hip. What I want to avoid is this leg being pushed in between my partner's legs. So if my partner turns and pushes that leg inside, uh, then turns back towards me, Okay. Now my partner's escaped my mouth back to her half guard, a bit like the mouth escaped you did a couple of weeks ago. So, when my partner turns, I post up and I pull my heel back, okay? Now my partner's back is off the floor and it's available to me. I'm going to occupy that space by sliding my knee and sitting down behind my partner's back, okay? So it doesn't really happen slowly like that, but normally when she goes, it's a quick movement and I slide behind really, really quick. Okay, so my knee's nice and high behind my partner's head. This heel's pulling into my partner's hip on this side, my leg's over my partner's belly, and I'm sitting down nice and low, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is secure the position with what we call a seatbelt grip. It's called a seatbelt because one of my arms goes under my partner's armpit on one side, and on the other side it goes over the shoulder, and I connect my hands together, and I use this to keep myself really, really close to my partner. Okay, so one more time, once I've sat behind, one arm goes under, one arm goes around, and I connect my hands together. Okay, pinch your elbows in. If you can, put your chin on the shoulder and keep your chest really close behind your partner's back. I want to be like a little backpack on my partner. So now when I move, my partner moves with me. Okay, we're going to finish uh, taking the back by falling onto this side so I can get full control with my legs as well. So I'm going to fall onto my other hip and on down onto my other shoulder. And this frees up this leg to go in between my partner's legs as a second foot or form of control of my partner's hip. So keeping my head nice and close, so I've got my super grip controlling the upper body and my legs or my hooks on the inside of my partner's thighs controlling the lower body. Okay, so one more time, all the way through and one go, my partner turns, I post up, I slide behind, I catch my seatbelt grip, I stay nice and tight and then I move. You see how I'm moving my partner with me? I'm not bringing my body and leaving my arms behind and trying to pull. I just stay nice and tight and now when I move, she moves. Where my hook in, keep my head nice and tight and we're going to finish it. Does that make sense guys? One, two.